I'm gonna find a nice little place to hide so I don't get killed, because I'm gonna call in a ground assault drone. So this is a ground assault drone. Nice machine gun fire, you can zoom in on it. Anything you really wanna do. My body's safe. So my teammates are going towards B now, that's why that X is on it with the B. So I'm rolling in with the ground assault, ground assault drone to help them out. Now they're taking B, which is why that wheel is winding up right there. Enemy seems to be coming from this direction, so I'm gonna cover this side. Boom. So see, I'm, I'm basically doing everything I can to help my team win. I'm not taking objective points, but I'm allowing them to do it. And that's what Homefront Multiplayer is all about. It's about team play, it's about bringing infantry shooter style intensity to the large scale warfare theater. My drone was just taken out, but I'm safe and sound, so I'm gonna go enter the battle in my body. Just trying to take out this recon drone from afar, but I have an SMG, not the best for long distance. Right now, my team holds all three points, so we're really wheeling up the score quickly. And now, all of a sudden, this is what we have in home front. It's escalating intensity. As the game progresses and people accrue battle points, what happens, you start seeing less drones, less small vehicles, and more of the tanks, more of the, the Apache helicopters, the Little Bird. So it's a natural progression and in escalating intensity, which lends itself real well, not only to our game types, but to the genre as a whole. Right now, I'm gonna go towards the enemy spawn and I'm gonna purchase a flak jacket. That's part of this kit, it's a customizable kit. You can set it in your armory along with abilities so you can dial up certain features that you wanna be better for the kits that you're establishing. Right up there, you have an Apache doing its thing. You just saw that missile barrage. It's really deadly. Up here, I can see there's a tank rolling in. Oh, Humvee looking at me. Boom, that guy's dead. So yeah, you can't just lock onto a guy. You gotta be real precise with your shots. You know, it, there's, there's room for error, but not a hell heck of a lot. Both good for skilled gamers and for the casual gamer as well. So right there, I threw the EMP grenade. Now that, now that Humvee was immobilized, but thankfully for the Humvee, he had a teammate that called in a Hellfire airstrike and took me out. So, Battle points is our short-term progression loop. We also have the long-term progression loop that people really look for in first-person shooter titles. And that's your typical XP system and unlocks and things like that. We also have our, is our ability system and, and everything else. So right here in your armory, you have all these different loadouts. You can rename them. You can add whatever weapon you like. You know, I'm not a big LMG fan, so I'm gonna swap it out for something else. I really love my SCAR rifle. It's a tri-burst rifle. I'm gonna equip that with an attachment. I have the MK1 hollow scope open. These are all scopes that you unlock as you progress and get kills. Also, what, what's great about this is you can use your battle points in game. That's the short term compulsion loop. And your battle points can be used for rocket launchers, for drones. The great part is those aren't set. You can actually set those to what you like in your class and in your loadout. So you can have a stealthy one where you have like a flak jacket so you have a little bit more, uh, a little bit more health. Or you can do a drone one and have a couple drones. Right now, what I'm gonna do is set the, uh, the second one to a drone. I'll do our parrot drone, which is a recon drone. I'm also gonna change my ability loadout. Right now, I have tactical reload. I don't want that because I have two drones. I'm gonna switch it to drone be gone, faster drone speed, as well as thick skin, which is increased drone health. So now I have increased drone health, as well as longer drone duration time. That's saying, hey, you have one more point left. Do you wanna use it? Darn right I do. So I'm gonna do quick draw so I have a quicker ADS. This is all part of our armory, all loadouts, all customizable. Rename it if you want, reset to default. So pretty much goes back to the core design philosophy. Build on proven mechanics and introduce our new innovative features in multiplayer for Homefront. Homefront will be available on the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and of course PC, March 8th, 2011.